Today we're aboard Sandpan's newest expression of luxury, the 2500 ELW, inspired by a Yamaha F250, which proved to be a great match for this boat. Uh, we got on plane in 2.5 seconds to 30 miles an hour in 5.5 seconds, and the top speed was 43.3 miles an hour. Now one of the things I love about this is it has triple 27 inch tubes, which are kind of the norm for Sandpan. And what that gives you, these oversized tubes help you ride higher in the water, gives you better sea keeping ability if it gets a little choppy, and you can pile on more people, which is kind of the point of a pontoon boat. Now, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our Boating World YouTube channel. That way, when we come out with a new video, you're going to be the first to see it. Now, let's see how she handles. Boy, this thing was would be great for water sports. Out of the hole, it's really quick. And she turns really well, too. Check this out. Just a tiny bit of lean in, pretty flat. But boy, it really hooks up. Check that out. You know, Bob, these rear loungers are really popular, but oftentimes you can only use them when the boat's at a standstill. I love how you've done this uh, really beautiful cage, but it's also really functional too. It is really functional. Not only is it a safety feature, but it does allow us to be back here underway. It's all stainless steel, it's all custom work for us. Gates on both sides. This particular boat has the standard ladder. You can actually option in a, another ladder on this side. Hmm. So for those that really go out and use the water and do a lot of swimming, mm -hmm. I really suggest that other ladder. That's a great feature. But this boat's so versatile. This, this seat that we're sitting on has multi-positions to it. Let me mm -hmm. show you how that works. I think you're gonna be impressed with the fact that this is a powered laydown seat with a backrest, and then this entire unit opens for storage, which is what the customers really love about this. Mm -hmm. But this boat has so much storage on it, and we really worked hard to incorporate that mm -hmm. in the boat. This power seat is wonderful, but it also has another feature which functions as a recliner, so we've got a three-position recliner built into this seat as well. Bob, this might be the yachtiest helm station I've ever seen on a pontoon boat. <laughs> well, thank you. That was, the that was the design criteria for it. We really wanted to have that yacht command center feel to this boat. This is the most deluxe boat we build. The Sandpan is the top of the Godfrey line. And we wanted to make sure that it not only looked that way, but it functioned that way. Mm -hmm. And while this is gorgeous, there's a lot of functionality to this panel. This is the Garmin C-Zone. This is the dual setup on it. So everything is integrated. The motor, we've got our GPS on this side. Right now I've got it on the switching situation. So one of the great things that our engineering team was able to do, Alan, was one button for day cruise, one button for night cruise. Mm -hmm. So at night when we come on the boat, we hit one button. It's going to turn on every light on the boat, the navigation lights, all the uh, RGB, the red, green, and blue lights, mm -hmm. all the speaker lights, the dash panel. And then I can bring up on the screen the individual switches and turn off the units that I don't want on. Right. If someone up front says, I don't want that light, we can turn that off, we can dim it, we can even honk the horn from this switch. <laughs> nice. So we've got everything function here as well as on this side, we can bring it back to our GPS, we can run a combo chart on it, and we can flip these around, all the way around. Um, either side right now, I've got the depth in place right now, and we can do our GPS locator here. So everything is functioning here. Bob, a full windshield is something you don't normally see on a pontoon boat, but it looks pretty cool. The last few years we've seen it, we've seen a customer demand for crossover feel to the helm. They want that runabout feel, but they want the room of a pontoon boat. And the pontoon boat this day, these days go so fast that mm -hmm. we can per perform with those runabouts, but they still like the feel of a walk-through windshield. So we offer most of these models both ways. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular one gives us the ability to put a mate's helm here. So we've got a great glove box for the mate, private seat on this end, grab bar. You feel more like you're in a traditional runabout, but you're in that pontoon boat and with this 250 horse on the back, we're gonna run right with those runabouts all day long. Sure. Bob, you know you've nailed the upholstery in the couch when you sit down and, and you know you don't want to get up. Well, we don't want you to leave the boat. We <laughs> want you to go out and enjoy the boat. Uh, we were driven really, really hard on this boat by 
home furniture design. So that inspired us. And we wanted comfort and we wanted style and we wanted to make it feel like you were sitting in your living room watching this big screen TV, but the greatest picture is the lake outside. Yeah. So we really love this furniture package. Everyone who sits in this boat can't believe how comfortable it is. It just makes for a great day of cruising and riding. It's wonderful and it's so luxurious, just beautiful work. I might actually let somebody else drive the boat if I was up here. Now you're learning. <laughs> Alan, now you're getting it. That's the first thing you want to do is never go to the helm. Let someone right. else drive the boat and enjoy the boat, right? Home James. I like it. Let's go. Let's go for a ride. For more information on the Sandpan 2500 ELW and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. And also make sure you subscribe to our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. I'm Alan Jones, and thanks for being part of our Boating World.